Hey guys, it's your girl Steph. I'm coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I wanted to give you some advice about what to do for your girl on Valentine's Day. Everyone goes to the store, they stress, they pick up chocolates, they pick up these little candy hearts. No girl's over here trying to get fat. Those are gonna get dusty, put away, probably not gonna eat those chocolates unless she's already a big girl. So for your skinny girls, for your lovers, and for anyone else who is looking for some Valentine's Day goodness, number one, surprise a bitch. If she likes BDSM, bring some handcuffs. If she likes to be tied down, bring a silk handkerchief. If she likes food in the bedroom, bring some whipped cream. If she's a scared little girl and likes little soft things, go ahead and bring a little little kitty plushie. Bring something to make her feel cute and small. Surprise her. If she thinks you're just getting chocolates or flowers, you get that too. Go ahead, don't disappoint her but bring something that is to her person, surprise her. She likes something green, bring her a little frog mono. Bring something cute that is special to her. Don't just get the run of the mill, Walmart, um, here's some chocolates girl, and then call it a day, no. After you give her a surprise, you need to take her for good food at a nice restaurant. Do not go to Applebee's, that is not cute. Um, unless you have to make a reservation, that is not a Valentine's Day date. We wait all year to feel cute, to dress nice, and to show off what our man has, so he needs to show us that he appreciates it. You need that nice, fine dining, the decadence. Um, how do I say, if you can't fill her up at your dinner, and she's not happy, okay, let's move it along. Let's, let's go, you take her home, you fill her up at home. That's what Valentine's Day is essentially all about. It's about sex. So the third and most important, of course, is the orgasm. Orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. You need to get your girl going where she's gonna remember this Valentine's Day for the rest of her life. You don't want her thinking, oh, well, maybe next Valentine's Day. No, if you gotta rub one out before you show up to pick up your girl, do so. Don't be a minute man, don't disappoint her, don't leave her laying on the bed talking about where's my vibrator, where's, no. If she needs a vibrator after your Valentine's Day date and you're up in the shower, you did Valentine's Day wrong. So those are my top three Valentine's Day advice. Thank you guys.